We made it right now. Oh, uh, and, the, and we use the endpoints of the of the blue and yellow sticks. And then if you like connect the dots, then oh. oh. So it's kind of like making a kite, but it's not perpendicular. It's kind of like making a rhombus, but it's not perpendicular. It's not congruent. Sides aren't congruent. See? Does it have to be in the middle? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it has I, to be I think it has to be in the middle. Because it has to be like both. Oh, actually, it might not. Distance. It might not. I'm, I think it does, because it has to be equal distance from each. See, look, like, these two sides are parallel. Yeah, it wouldn't work if it was in the middle. And these two sides like are these parallel. Two sides are the same. That's how we make a... Like this, this wouldn't be a parallel again. Because, yeah. like, the distances aren't equal. Aren't equal. Okay, so we have rhombus. Do we have all the shapes now? <laughs> wait, I have a question. Do you want to ask... Wait. Ms. Humphreys, do we have to show trapezium? No, right? Uh, wait, what do I write for parallel again? It has to be in the mid It has to be the blue... The blue stick and the yellow, st the short stick and the long stick have to be put together at the mid, like at the midpoint. At the midpoint and any angle of both, of both sticks, and then and any angle except for the except for make perpendicular, except for perpendicular or, or parallel. parallel. We'll make a parallel. Okay. So the, the pattern of creating a rhombus. So if a rhombus. No, put, say short stick, not blue. Because blue, it could be like red, it could be yellow. <laughs> Just say short stick. Push the short stick. Long stick. Short stick. And long stick. And. What's the word for like moving the like I put if you connect the short and long sticks at their midpoints and like move them or any angle in the middle? If you put like so if you connect the short the short and long sticks at at the mid at the midpoints and any any angle you put them in except for perpendicular or parallel will create a rhombus. will create a parallel rhombus. Any angle you put. Them. Wait, isn't a rhombus technically a parallelogram? Because uh, two sides of look. Yeah. yeah. So it, so we could say parallel too. So it could be parallel too. You see, it's these sides are parallel. So except for par par uh, except for par except for parallel. Yeah, except for parallel. Put them in. Wait, this. Do you, yeah. you want to ask her if we have to do trapezium to show trapezium? Okay, hold on. Yeah, but um, I'm like, I don't know what the group right now is. So. Yeah. We'll ask you later. And make, uh, yeah. and make them perpendicular. So are there like any other shapes that we can do with this? We have rhombus. We have parallelogram. We have rectangle square. We have kite. We have trapezoid. Are there any other shapes? Trapezoid. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. But that can be like anything else. Exactly. That, but that's, that's why... So could you like any other option? Other than trapezium? I don't think so. I think, she's, I think we did... Yeah. I don't think you can define trapezium because it's exactly, like any it's, other, it's any other shape. So there's no like specific uh, definition. Specific, oh yeah. It depends what it's kind of trapezium you want to make. So how about we don't... Oh, wait, do we have it? Everything we have, right? Is that it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Wait, for the kite, it has to be the short and the long sticks, and they're perpendicular in the middle, and one must cross at the midpoint. Or does it matter which midpoint on the other one? Except for the endpoints, right? If you have to write for each one, wait, we have to do... I'm just... Do we have to explain each one, or can we? Do we have to? Wait, since we each explained our own, do we have to? And we put it together. Do we have to each ex we can just copy each other's work? No, right? No, no we can turn it together. Yeah. Yes. So, did we do the rectangle? Yeah. It was just I, I made a rectangle. Look, we noticed that if we, if we put the pin in the middle of the two of the two sticks, and oh, I need to make this more like more clear because it doesn't make sense. If we put the pin in the midpoint of both sticks, of both of the long sticks, and make nine and make them perpendicular, then the shape will be created. That will be created uh, is a. 
uh, square. And if the angles are not right angles, then the rectangle, will, then a rectangle will be created. Yeah. 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 Okay, so middle of the two. Okay, the midpoint. The midpoint. Two. Uh, we have two. Be sure you like. Be sure you're. Uh, what is it called? Oh, specific, specific on your on your explanation. This point of. So you're thinking you can't make a parallelogram with what you've got, is that right? Well, we've been trying in the squares and it trapezoids and pretty much every other parallelogram you can think of, and you just can't seem to get the. Um, Huh. Uh, Are you keeping track of every single thing you're writing down and in order? Well, I have them in order of when I wrote them. The okay. Observations, just I wrote them. I just categorized them with what I thought they pertained to. Okay. So like this would pertain to squares and rectangles, and, and so and what I wrote down here, so about the kites. Oh, around, excellent, so excellent. So, do, are you keeping track of what you're trying as you're trying to find a, t a parallelogram? So keep track of the things that aren't successful as the thing as well as the things that are. All right. So so why don't you work together as a group? See if you can do it to get so the a parallelogram. And you and you think you can make a parallelogram? Do I think you can? Yes, I think you can. Wait.